Welcome to Line Table Screen Printing by Jury Philippines. I'm Jin from Jury. Today I'd like to share the plan for our DIY conveyor dryer. Here are a few notes before we start. This conveyor uses a screen printing flash dryer. It also uses a motor from rotisserie. Main materials are wood and steel. Welding, cutting, drilling holes, and making threads for bolts is required. Although painting is not covered here, we recommend heat resistant painting of all steel parts to protect from rust. Traction control of the belt is most critical. Conveyor rails, belt, and rollers must be built as precisely as possible. We have selected 10 major steps that can take about 2 days to complete. Please pay attention to work safety. You will be using power tools and heavy materials. Now, let's look at the materials we need. 3 by 8 feet plywood is for base table. 2 by 4 and 2 by 2 lumbers are for base table and conveyor rails. 2x2 two two angle bars are for conveyor rails. And 1.5x1.5 and and angle bars are for the frames of the flash dryer. We use the rotisserie motor to turn the conveyor roller. This is our traction control device. Threaded bolt moves roller to increase or decrease belt tension. Our dryer has two rollers and we use 3 inch diameter PVC pipes as rollers. You will need rubber plugs like this. or toolbox liner like this to fill inside the drive roller pipe. You need PVC caps to close the pipes. For drive roller, we use rotisserie square rod as revolving shaft. For the other roller, we used half inch diameter round rod. We put anti slip tape around the roller pipes to prevent the belt from slipping on pipes. You will need some bolts and nuts. We used steel plate for the floor between the top and under belt. For conveyor belt, we used fiberglass window screen. Lastly, the most important part is the flash dryer. 
Recommended size of actual heating element of the flash dryer is 20 inch by 24 inch or larger. Now let's check each step to build a conveyor dryer. We have total 10 steps. Step 1 is to build a table to put the conveyor dryer on. Of course, you can use any table as long as it's big and stable. Step 2 is to build conveyor rails with 2x4 lumbers and 2x2 angle bars. You need to drill holes on the angle bars for rollers. It is absolutely critical that these angle bars are parallel. Step 3 is to build a frame on top of the angle bar rails. and drill bolt holes on the frames for the flash dryer and cover panels. Step 4 is to install the flash dryer in the frame. To level the flash dryer and fix it to the frame, you will need additional structure to the flash dryer. Flash dryer's height should be adjustable. Step 5 is to make a floor for the conveyor belt.
weld steel plate to the rails. Step 6 is to install conveyor rollers. This is how we assemble rollers using PVC pipes, rubber plug, rotisserie rod, PVC cap, and anti-slip tape. Anti-slip tape can prevent conveyor belt from slipping on the rollers. Step 7 is to install the motor. We use the rotisserie motor something like this. The motor must have very low RPM to ensure of enough time to cure the ink. It will be better if you can use a variable speed motor. You need a bracket to attach the motor unit to the angle bar. And you may also need a bushing or bearing on the scale rod for smoother turns. Step 8 is to install the conveyor belt. For belt material, we tried both fiberglass window screen like this. And steel wire window screen like this. but neither of them were satisfactory. Fiberglass was so thin and flimsy that achieving even belt tension was difficult. Steel wire screen got easily frayed along the edges. So we are still in search of better material for belt, something stable and durable. And to join both ends of the belt, we used heat resistant flexible adhesive, something like this. But the result was not satisfactory. We think sewing or using a zipper is a better way to connect them in terms of belt traction.
Step 9 is to install traction control device. These bracket angle bars have no bolt threading, but this shaft bar has bolt threads. So when the bolt is turned, only the roller will be moved. Lastly, step 10 is to put steel plates on the frames. For maintenance and height adjustment purposes, we recommend bolts and nuts instead of welding to put the panels on the frames. That's it, all done. Now let me show you the dimensions of all the parts. These materials, sizes, and quantities are for our case. You can of course do it in your own way. Please make further improvements and share your experience with us. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please give us thumbs up, share the video, and please subscribe our channel. Thank you.